Hey guys, it's the next day now. We found this guy in the video yesterday, this big old tomato hornworm uh, on my giant tomato plants. So um, today we're going to build him an enclosure, a, a caterpillar enclosure cage. So we can watch what happens as he goes through his stages. Here's another one. Uh, there we go. Can we see him? There he is. Uh, yeah, we have a few on here. We found one at night also uh, using the black light. You can check out that video. We did that yesterday, last night. So over here, I have my picnic style crafting area set up. I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick caterpillar enclosure that's super awesome and super cheap. So let me attach you to the tripod and I'll get it all lined up and whatnot and I'll start building it and show you how easy it is and he's going to have an awesome home to live in so we can keep track of him and watch him metamorphosize into a sphinx moth. Okay, we got our picnic style um, crafting set up here because it's nice outside. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to make a caterpillar insect enclosure really cheap uh, so we can keep an eye on that caterpillar that we found. Uh, so what you do is if you go to the Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar Tree store, they have these cake, cake platters, right? Yeah, that's what it is. It's like a cake platter, $1.25. So see the bottom and the top are separate. So we got that. Then you're gonna need some kind of hardware cloth. So this is like a wire mesh. This is quarter inch, but uh, you could use even half inch, uh, but we're gonna use quarter inch. I got this for free. Uh, for the bottom of it, we're going to use this uh, five gallon bucket lid because you'll see what we're gonna do. So I'll just get started and I'll skip ahead a lot. So you guys, it doesn't take a, a lot of time, but. I will show you how to do this really quick. It's going to be awesome. So we basically unroll some of this and we we want it to, oh wow, that's going to fit in there nice. So see, we're, we're fitting this hardware cloth into the lip of the five gallon bucket. So we kind of estimate uh, how much we need. So it makes this like a uh, tube of metal. Wow. That was elegantly said. Okay, so we wanted a boat like this. So, there's a bee in my face. Okay, so now I got a good estimate of uh, how, how I want to cut it. And my favorite tool you'll, you'll come to find out once we start crafting is angle grinder. Make sure you have safety glasses on. Now, if you don't have an angle grinder, uh, you could just use a, uh, you know, a little tin snippers or, yeah, there's like snippers like this or uh, something like that to cut it. Even a really strong scissors will, uh, bee, will cut this. What is this bee doing, dude? There's always these bees in my face every time I turn the camera on. Okay, whatever. Okay, so uh, what we can do is kind of. Let's kind of stretch this out a little bit and unroll it so it, uh, it it's not quite so curled up. We want to make it into that tube shape that we had we we're kind of doing. There we go. That's pretty good. See, we got a tube shape, and we're gonna we're gonna fit that onto the lid of the five gallon bucket because there's like a lip around the lid of the the bucket lid. Okay, we, oh geez, I barely cut it long enough. Okay, so, yeah, that'll work. I'll skip ahead a lot on some of this stuff. So 
So as you can see, uh, this is going to be, we're using the hardware cloth because it gives us the structure of the enclosure. So now we are going to, let's see, we're going to, we're going to do a couple of zip ties. We've got these little, you know, them little Tipo zip ties. One of my other favorite things to use for crafting. Uh, let's just put a couple in for now to make sure the size is right. So we feed that through, zip it up. Okay, we got the top connected. Let's uh, connect the bottom. Okay. Okay, just uh, just until we know everything's gonna fit good, the bees back. There we go. Okay, so we have our tube. Okay, let's make sure it fits. Okay, it fits. Okay, so what's, what we're going to be doing is uh, this is going to get glued onto the top of here. So let's make sure this fits. It does. So see, look at how quick. Okay, so I'll speed this up. Uh, we're going to add... We're going to add some more zip ties to, to, to close this up, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done zip tying. All right, there we go, done zip tying. So, look, I just put uh, two, four, six, eight, I only, only nine zip ties. That's fine. You can do more if you want. Uh, so, now we can fit it into that uh, ridge of the, of the bucket lip, bucket lid lip. So see, should I get closer? Yeah, see how it, it's fitting down into the lip of the the bucket like that. And basically, my one of my best friends is a hot glue gun. You can do whatever you have. If you have something else, if you have caulking like silicone caulk or something else but hot glue is really fast and we want this we got to get that caterpillar uh, in this new home so I'm just gonna go around the edge and uh, glue glue a bunch all the way around the edge I'll be back with you Okay, let's let that dry. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> I took a little break, checked on a few things. This is nice and dry now, I hope. Nothing wrong with uh, putting a little more glue on, but yeah, that's good. So now let's take this. These bees, they want to land on my face. I know you're not supposed to swat at bees, but I don't want them landing on my face. Excuse me, bee. You, you guys probably can't even see the bee. You think I'm just crazy? Okay, so we're going to set this upside down on here. Make sure I have it the right way. Oh, nope, I almost did it wrong. Okay, let's set this on here like this. There we go. Ooh, that's good, that's good. Okay. Now... Okay, now we just glue all around the edge again, so we'll speed this up or skip ahead. Okay, that should be nice and dry. Oh, I glued it to the blanket. No! No! 
Just kidding, it's fine. There we go. Okay, so this is the way that the enclosure is going to sit. So we have our, our tube enclosure. Everything's glued on. Now, I just realized I should have cut this out before, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut a circle out of here so we can access down in there. Hello. That was a subscriber. Just kidding. I don't have any subscribers. Please subscribe. Uh, okay, so we, we have to cut a hole in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a I'm going to make a little cut with my angle grinder and then we'll use my sharp scissors that I lost. And I think we will be able to cut a nice circle. Well, I guess I could try to use this. I got a carpet knife. Oh, there's my scissors. I'm going to get it. So you'll notice some of this plastic will, will cut nicely with um, scissors or um, carpet knife like this, but sometimes it will crack. But I think this stuff cuts pretty good because I've cut it before. So we're just going to get a starting point there, and I'm going to see if, uh, if we can cut it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, let me do it better. Oh goodness. Here, you know what? Let's try this. We'll try it both ways. Oh, this is beautiful. Here, let's see if, uh, see if you guys can see this. So, see if you kind of pull up on this. We can drag this along and look. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. It's probably completely out of frame. I can't see the camera. Whatever, I'll do this sitting down. Wanted to try to give you guys an up close. Okay, we got a kind of circle. So let me uh, trim it a little nicer now. There we go. Let's do a little bit trim here. There we go. Dump out the debris. And you know what, guys? We're almost done. Like, this is easy. Okay, so watch. Besides, I glued this. Okay, that's good. So watch how cool this is. So now that we have the hole in there, uh, we use the top of this. And watch. This is the cake platter, and there's these little clips. Bam. Check it out. Hey, would you, anybody like to see my uh, caterpillar? Like if I'm going to the airport? Yes, yeah, my caterpillar carry on. Okay, that's stupid. Okay, so we're almost done. So see how easy we can, uh, you know, we can pop this off just by going like that. Boop. We got a lid. So what we're going to want, we're going to want to put the tom tomato uh, leaves, the stalks in there, whatever, but we want to keep them hydrated. So I was thinking... Um, you know, we should have the stalks of the tomato branches in water. So what we'll do is, well, you, I have these containers, a bunch of them. So we'll just make a little slit in the top of this like that. And then, so this doesn't slide around down there. We'll glue in a second one because I have a ton of these. We'll glue in a second one on the bottom there. And then the water one can just set in there. Then we can take it out and empty it if it needs uh, fresh water. So let's see if we have enough glue left. Oh gosh, I'm almost out of glue. Oh no. Is that enough? We'll see. That was my last glue stick that I brought out. Oh, I should really find one more glue stick or I won't be happy with that. Let's take it back out. I'm gonna go find another glue stick. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I found one. Ooh, that's an old glue stick. Okay, now we can put a bunch of glue on there. Why not? We'll just stick this one in the bottom. Ooh, wow, it's like melting the bottom. Woo, ha. There. So we'll let that cool down. 
center, center. Okay, there we go. So now we can fill this with water, put our branches in there, and uh, well, that'll just set in there like that. We can put our caterpillar that we found in there, and look, isn't that awesome? And I built these before. Um, if you're dealing with smaller insects or smaller caterpillars or hatchlings, all you do is after this stage, you um, just cover this with screen. So like they, there's that black nylon, real uh, flexible uh, screen you can get, or if you have any old window screens, just wrap it around and glue it along the seam. So then, uh, then it'll be covered with screen. So uh, this is, a, a setup like this is important for caterpillars because uh, they need a lot of airflow. Otherwise, if there's too much uh, moisture buildup, uh, they can get diseases and stuff because of their their own droppings and whatnot. So eh, we don't want to deal with that. So a lot of airflow is good for caterpillars. And this is exactly what we need. So let's, uh, we'll get some water in there. We're going to cut some branches, uh, tomato branches and leaves, get them in there. And we can put the caterpillars in there. Yeah, we did it. Okay, I got some water in there. Uh, it's ready to go. Let's go get some. Uh, let's go get some tomato leaves. Uh, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be also filming another video today, uh, picking my giant tomatoes. A couple giant tomatoes up here, which means the plants. Uh, the plants don't have any other tomatoes on them. Them. Them only have one tomato each. So, it'll be okay if I if I steal some of the leaves. So let's go get some leaves for the for the caterpillars. Hopefully none no there's no, hopefully no more caterpillars are chewing on my tomato. Ooh, yeah, well, there we go. We're gonna pick that in the next video. So check out my next video. Alright, let's get a big old branch. Um hmm. What type of branch do we want? Okay, how about just a big old top branch like this? Eee. Oh gosh, that's hard to cut. Okay, let's see what kind of foliage we have. These leaves are very curled up because they have a lot of food content in them from me. Okay, whoops, I hit a wrong button there. I shut it off. Okay, we gotta have to get a couple branches. Oh gosh, we just had a weirdo pull up. Hey! Side character Tom! I think I uh, left my phone at home. That's good, you barely know how to use it. What are you doing? Uh, I'll show you. This is side character Tom, if you guys didn't know. You'll probably see a lot of him because he likes my stupid projects. Right? I try to help. He's my moderator. I'm his stimulator. He told me that I didn't have Motivator. comments on. Aggravator. I'm yeah, aggravator. actually, that's true. That's true. He always tells me how crappy my plants look. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, t hey, take a look at that tomato under the under there, Tom. Under the cover, you lift it up. Oh yeah, it's okay. Well, it looks small compared to you. You look like a big tomato. Looks like so. a burrito. <laughs> You're always hungry. Well, okay, so what we're doing is, oh, I almost tripped. We're picking a couple uh, branches for the the insect enclosure that we just made. So let's pick one more branch. Uh, which one should we pick? Here, let's get this one. Okay, we got two. All right, we got two branches for the caterpillars. All right, uh, we'll get back to you back down by the enclosure. Okay, we got our branches. So look how easy we can take this top off. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, let's put our branches down in here. If they fit. See, we'll stiff, stuff them right into our water source. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Put that one down into the water. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Now we have to go get the caterpillars. Here, should we go grab a caterpillar? Here, we'll take you guys off the tripod. Tom probably wants to see the caterpillars. Side character Tom. He's a goofy one. Okay, he's weirder than me. Okay, here's the one we found in the 
in the other video, let's let's get this big guy. This is the one that you guys have to name in the comments. I accidentally had the comments off, so now they're back on. So somebody can name this caterpillar. And we're going to raise him. We also found another one last night using the black light. Let's see if we can find him. I put him over here. Uh, let's just grab this other big one. There's another big one right here. These are all, if you didn't see the other videos, these are uh, the hornworms, tomato hornworms, which is a sphinx moth uh, larva. These came off of my giant tomato plants, and we don't want that. Okay, Tom said he's going to juggle for you. Okay, let's see you juggle. <laughs> okay, the first person to fail at juggling one. Okay, good job, good job. We might have to do a juggling tutorial sometime. Okay, let's put these in here. Look, here's uh, number one. This is the no-namer. Actually, they're both no-name. Here's the big one that we found in the video. And let's just set that in there. And watch how easy, Tom. Look at this. We put this on here like this. It's hard to do with one hand. Look, clip it on like that. And then they can't get out. No, because they're because they're big enough. Because you know, otherwise I would have used a, a smaller mesh. But there we go. Now, now here you carry it. Take, we can uh, you can take it to Connie. Oh yeah, right. Would you like that? <laughs> no. Okay. Is that nice and portable? Good. Yeah, that's... Oh oh bad bad example. Cut that. Why did that do that? Okay okay. Let me stop the video. Malfunction. All right. Done. So honestly, the whole thing only took probably all together, if I would have just sat and done it all consecutively, probably about 20 minutes. We'll do the walk around. But yeah, you could do this. You could use this for insects, uh, small reptiles. If you want to make a little cage for your like, uh, you know, chameleon or a reptile to set them outside to get some uh, natural sun. So pretty cool. So we'll have to see. Look, I, I can't see him in there. We'll keep an eye. I'll give you guys updates as we go. And uh, thanks for watching. We're going to try to get to 1,000 subscribers. So please subscribe. And we'll be back with updates on this guy and all the other stupid projects. Say bye, uh, side character Tom. They're not stupid. Oh, thank you. There's one person that thinks it's not stupid. Okay, see you guys.